Hello and welcome to this next tutorial in Python. Now last tutorial we looked at making a simple username program to allow a user to log in. Now we looked at if and else. Now this is a known as a conditional statement and it's very useful for getting the computer or getting the program to make a decision um, based on a variable. Now last time you could have basically one username um, in this case Bob and it would print access granted however if anybody else tried to log in it would hit the else clause and access would be denied now that's great if there's one user but what happens if there's more than one person that you wish to allow to log in well if you want to do more than one choice which is allowable you can use something called if elif else now the elif stands for else if so the logic goes, if the username is equal to Bob, it will print access granted, else if the username is equal to Fred, the access is granted. Finally, if neither of these are true, the else clause is hit and it prints access denied. So elif is really useful in those situations where you want to allow more than one option. Now you can have as many elif statements as you want, you know I could copy this here, paste it below, just making sure to get the indentation correct and we could put in here you know, uh, John for example like so and then John would also get access granted so you can make as many elifs as you want very very useful for when you need to have multiple conditions that you know could be true so if we run this just to show you it working here we go so I can enter in either Bob, Fred or John Let's put in Fred, and as you can see, access granted. Works perfectly. So have a go at this, extend your code from the last tutorial, add an elif in. A couple of points to note, you have to be careful of your indentation. Every time you want this to only run if this is true, it has to be indented to the level you can see here. Same with the elifs. And finally, just remember that when you use else, you don't have to have a condition, you don't have to check the contents of the variable, because an else will always run if any of these are, if these are all untrue. So if all of these are false, then the else will run, so there's no need for a condition on that one. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that quick tutorial, and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.